Now, we know how to, we already know how to transform from binary to decimal, and uh, there are some other uh, numeric systems that are very useful for all of us, and we'll study them briefly here, because you need to know them. Uh, one of them is not that necessary, but it's like, it's a good thing to know it. It'll make you wiser people, and the other one is mandatory, okay? So, we know already how to transform from uh, decimal to binary, okay? So I'll choose a number, I don't know, I'll say a small one, 250, no, I don't know, 9, no, 21, okay, that's a good number, okay, in base 10. But this time I want to transform it into base 8, okay, base 8 is called octal. That means you have just 8 values that go from 0 all the way into 7. Okay? So, how do I do this? You can start dividing things over 8, but that wouldn't be cool. Okay? So, we already know how to turn into binary, so let's do it into binary. Okay? So, let's turn 21 uh, to binary thing. That is 21 over 2. That is a 1, 0, 1, 0. One, I'm going to write down to one. It's going to be binary. Uh, we got a ten over two. That's a five. Zero. Write down to five over two. That's a two. I get a one. I write it here. <clears throat> Sorry for that. A two over two. I get a one. This is a zero. And finally, a 1 over 2, that's a 0, and I got a 1. Okay? So this is a binary thing. How do I transform from binary to octal? Let me change color. Oh, it's really simple, and you don't have to do like lots of stuff. Okay? I'm going to get my binary number. That is, I got a Z, 1, 0. 1, 0, 1. Okay, now I'm gonna make sets of three numbers. Okay, well, three digits. And I'm gonna group them starting from right to left. So I have this group of three, and I have group of two. If I have two, I just add another one, and I'm gonna write a zero. Okay, so from there, We, can, we need to know some things, okay? And I wanted to get into this point. There's some magic things whenever you start working with binary, with binaries, okay? So, those things lead us to some values that are very, very useful for everyone. Okay, so you're running, like, you're already guessing, I think. And zero is going to be zero. This is going to be decimal. This is going to be binary. A one, it's going to be a 1, okay, we're going cool to that point. A 2 is going to be a 1, 0. A 3 is going to be a 1, 1. A 4 is going to be a 1, 0, 0. Remember, this isn't binary. 5 is going to be a 1, 0, 1. A 6 is going to be 1, 1, 0. And this 7 is going to be a 1, 1, 1. You need to learn this table by heart. And nope, I'm not asking. Okay, let me write that, write this down. Uh huh. I'm going to learn by heart. I'm going to write down a little green heart. For you to remember this okay so if we check the table on the right we can know that it's going to be very very easy to turn from one system to another one as easy as checking okay i have a group of three right here this group of three is a one zero one one zero one stands for a five. Oh, it's here so i just copy this and i'll say this is a five okay now I got a 010. Zero, zero. What is that? 
that is a 2. Okay? As I'm missing a 0 before it, but that is a 2. So, it's a 2, 5. Okay? But this 2, 5 is base 8, or octal. Okay? So now, you're wiser people, and you know how to transform from decimal, sorry, to any base, to base 8. That's called octal. Let me just erase it, guy. And, uh, yeah. There you go. It's a 25, well, 25 base 8. Okay? And that works exactly the same way when you work uh, the other way around. If you have a number that is, I don't know, a 92, no, that can be a 9. No. Let's say you have another number, uh, C73 base 8. And you want to transform it into binary. Okay, you have a 7 and you have a 3. You look into your table what this uh, 7 stands for. 7 stands for a 1, 1, 1, and a 3 stands for 0, 1, 1. So the uh, equivalence in binary from that number is 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And that's your result. Okay? This can be a little bit like trouble for you. If you have lots of questions, please contact me. I know you, there are like some heads that have been blown. So I'll just pause here and go to the next video.